I've just, I guess you've been wondering what has been happening. Well, a lot's been happening, but you can go on Twitter and find out exactly what is happening with my life. I'm sure you're not here to look at those things. So let's get into it. We are going to do a tutorial today on basically how to do some um, audio mixing. So, and it's something that I guess in a lot of ways, video people don't really know how to do, mostly because um, you just don't need to do it. Maybe someone else does it. It's something that's very neglected. It's like that, you know, puppy dog that you'll, you know, you think is really cute to begin with, but then again, you sort of neglect it after a while and it sort of sits in the corner, and grows up and gets really like feral after a while because you don't brush it and stuff. So we're going to look after the neglected dog for a second here and talk about audio mixing, which is something that goes hand in hand with video. And I don't know why people don't look at it more, but thanks to my mate, um, Daniel CF from Reverie Films. Um, he sort of gave me this little trick to at least get you over the line for um, video mixing so that um, you'll be able to at least get, you know, a basic mix out of it, if not, you know, a good mix out of it. But let's just get started with this anyway. So I've got this film here that I shot in Easter. Um, it's called, um, what, what was it called? It was called The Forgiven. I'm just going to turn my volume up so you can hear it. But here it goes. So this is what it basically sounds like. Um, is the raw audio. Now, what Jenny did to you was atrocious. You know about that? I know everything. Oh. Well then, why does a heartless woman like that think deserve my forgiveness? Alright, what a riveting movie. Okay, so... You want to throw music underneath these things. Now, when people are talking and that kind of thing, that's one of the problems is that obviously the music can be a little bit overwhelming, but you don't want to mix it so low that you just can't hear what, you know, you can't hear the music at all. And that's one of the problems that you always have with uh, mixing audio, uh, sorry, a talking head. This is very basic. Like we're just talking like talking heads uh, and some music. Now, this is something you'll come across in whatever you decide to do. Now, if you're doing your church news or you're doing like a piece to camera, you just want to throw a little bit of music underneath. This is just going to help you sort of understand how to basically get that sort of, um, that sound of a punchy kind of voice in the middle with a sort of track at the back. Now I'll just sort of, um, I sort of just guide you through this. Now, what we're going to do here is I'm just going to open this up just a little bit more so you can kind of see waveforms. Now, you can see here the audio waveform is not very big. It's actually really quite small. And we're going to look at the meters here. If you can see the meters right here, I'm going to just play a little bit of it. You see that as now, we play it through, the sound is only kind of getting to about minus 15, minus 16, perhaps. It's not very, it's not very loud. Well, ideally, what we want to try and do is get the audio. It's and it sort of dips as well to minus 18, as you can kind of see. So it doesn't really quite. We, where we want to sit is somewhere about here. We want the vocals to sit in this range here between minus six and minus 12. So you, it's because it's dipping so much, it's going to be hard for the audience to kind of hear what's going on. So here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to basically put an effect in here. It's probably an area you never go to because you have no idea what these things do. But let's, let's just start here. Now you could, you know, a lot of people like to do this thing where you just sort of throw it up and uh, throw the volume up and the levels up and it goes up to minus 12 and it, that's all right But it only gets to minus 12 and that's as high as you I mean it only gets to 12 and that's as high as you're ever going to be able to go with using the bands and stuff So let's get this filter here if you go to our audio filters and then go to gain you can actually pull down gain onto this thing and let's Look at gain as a filter. And it's pretty simple here. All it is is just throwing the levels up. So um, We saw here that it was probably about sitting oh, I don't know around minus 15. So if we want to get it up to zero, I guess we want to, we basically want to gain it up. So it's touching the top of these meters. So if we just put a basic 12 on here, you'll see where it gets up to. So you can kind of see that it'll get up to, um, now it gets up Jenny to about to you minus, uh, minus four, atrocious. which isn't bad, but we want to get it up just a little bit higher. I'm just going to turn the volume out just a bit. Now let's get it up. Let's put it up to 15 and see if we can touch the top of the red, at least with the peak, the, the, the loud parts here. So let's have a look here. Now what Jenny that's did good. to you. Like with the loud part here, it's actually touching the top. So now, that's exactly where we want to be. Jenny it's not staying there, but it's just touching the top. So that's a good place to be. So that's the highest part um, that you want to be at in terms of getting it to be there. Now the second part now, so minus 15, so 15 is pretty good. Let's throw this next thing on, which is the compressor. 
Uh, now, this is a bit of a mystery to most video people because nobody quite understands what the compressor does. But essentially what it does, if you can imagine, is take, it sort of looks at the top of how high, like the, the ceiling of how loud you want it to be. And if it gets any louder than that, then it starts squashing it down. So what we want to do is, um, but as it squashes things down, it sort of fills out the sound a lot more. And in a way, it sort of keeps the sound up as high as it can be, so it sounds a lot more consistent across the board. Um, so let's just do this. Let's let's say we want the highest point it to be. We want the audio to sit around minus eight. So the ceiling is going to be minus eight. That's what the threshold is going to be. And the threshold we're going to put to is three. Okay, and the attack time is how fast this compressor reacts to um, the voices coming in, and this is how quickly it releases uh, the effect. So if you kind of listen here, you'll see now. Now, what Jenny did to you was atrocious. So if you can see here, you know I know it's everything. starting to push everything up around the minus eight area, which is really good because before it was sort of just sitting down here now, and it was sort of varying between the eight and the, it was sort of varying between the 15 and the behind just below eight minus 18. And that's, that was, um, it was too much of a variation. So what we've done now is now, we've pushed everything Jenny up did to you so that, um, you can atrocious. actually hear, um, a you lot know, more and it just punches out a lot more and sits at a more, it, it sort of evens things out a little bit. So sort of like a normalizer in some ways, but it's not normalizing. This is gain of compression. Um, and because you have a lot more control over it, it's going to be better. You could actually compress it a lot more, give it a more compressed sound by putting the gain up, um, and pushing the, the threshold down. But uh, around here is pretty good. So this is probably where you want to stay now. Um, now that we've got kind of the vocals now, kind of punching out a lot more, did she it's probably just still a little bit loud in this section here. Now, so we can probably keep, we can probably squash it down even more. Let's make it, uh, actually if we make it minus eight, I apologize for any audio people out there who are watching this are thinking he has no idea what he's talking about. This is just basic for me. So this is just for the, my video peeps out there now, who have no idea how to do audio. Jenny so did I apologize in advance. All right, here we go. Now, we're going to throw the music on. Now, the music, if you just look at the music on its own, it's quite high. Like most music tracks you get in here are going to sit around the zero mark, which is completely normal, and that's what you want. So, but we're just, and the good thing about music that you just kind of buy from the store or whatever it is, is just that it's quite, um, it's quite, it's already kind of compressed anyway. So it's at the level you want it to be at. But we're going to make it sit at minus 12. So essentially the vocal track is going to sit around minus eight and the music is going to sit around minus 12. So in that respect, um, you can kind of see here, it's just going to, it's just going to sit around this area here, which is good. Now, if we throw the vocals back on, it's pretty simple. You just now, play it. what Jenny did to you, we have the vocals sitting around minus atrocious. eight and the music sitting around minus 12, that? which is a good place. And so, if we um, if we basically just make go to the filters and make actually if we make this minus six, and let's push this up to say eighteen, so the it's a little bit pushed a little bit more compressed, it'll punch out the vocals now, a lot more. What Jenny did was a bit you, too high on the first part there, so maybe I might have to. It was atrocious. Well, that was probably not that you, was a bit of a fail you know in that, that area, but everything else should be quite I know good. everything. So you can see here the vocals oh. are sitting around minus six. Well, then why does a heartless woman like that? deserve my forgiveness now let's compare this to what it was before um, so this is where it was before now what Jenny did sorry that was actually this has already got the filters on there let's take these off so this is without without any of the effects now what Jenny did to you was atrocious you know about that so see the variation between the yeah. two people is it jumps to minus 12 and jumps down nearly to minus 30 and it's just all over the joint. But with the compressor and the music, you'll see that it actually jumps. Oh, what Jenny did to It actually to you, sits a lot more level now, so it comes up a lot higher. It's atrocious. In, in, and it's a lot more punched out. That? I know everything. And that way the, audio, the, the vocals are sitting right on top of the music a lot better. So let, I'll let you listen to one more time just so you can see the difference. Now, what Jenny did to you was atrocious. You, you know about that? I know everything. 
Oh. Well then, why does a heartless woman like that think deserve my forgiveness? Okay, so I hope that made a lot of sense. Um, it's a it's a neat trick, and to be honest, if you can give people good audio, it gives a better impression of what the video is, and you don't want to distract people with bad audio when you're trying to get them to look at the visuals rather than the audio, But because your audio guy's going to do that. But you know what? I will guarantee that good audio will give you a better result every time. So even if you don't have a professional post guy with you, I mean, this is a basic way to basically get at least that sort of sound of, you know, uh, a mixed video, you know, if that makes any sense. Anyway, I hope that's been helpful. Um, I hope that you guys can use this something. And if you have anything and I've done this completely wrong, please let me know. I'll be willing to uh, rectify this tutorial. Anyway, hope you've had a good time. I certainly have, and I'll see you next time.